In this example, we want to find the critical numbers for f of theta equals to 24 times theta minus 6 times tangent theta. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, take the derivative of the function with respect to theta and then uh, set this equal to 0. Okay, and then from there we'll, we'll solve for theta. Okay, so we're going to have f prime of theta equals to the derivative of 24 theta is 24. The derivative of tangent theta is secant squared theta. So we get minus 6 times secant squared theta. Okay, so then from here we're going to go ahead and set this derivative equal to 0. Okay. So we have 24 minus secant squared theta equals to 0. Okay. So we can go ahead and factor out a 6. So we have 4 minus secant squared theta equal to 0. This is going to leave us with 4 minus secant squared theta equal to 0. Okay, and this is equivalent to secant squared theta equals to 4. Okay, so secant theta is 1 over cosine theta. So it's the reciprocal of cosine theta. So that means we can rewrite this as 1 over cosine squared theta equals to 4. Okay. So, so what we can do from here is that we can take we can go ahead and take the reciprocal of both sides. So we're going to end up getting okay, okay, taking the reciprocal of both sides, we're going to get cosine squared theta equals to one fourth. Okay. And then from here, uh, we can go ahead and take the square root of both sides. That's going to give us cosine theta equals to plus or minus one half. Okay. All right, so now we need to go ahead and solve for theta from this equation, okay? All right. So we need to go back to the unit circle, okay? So I'm going to just go ahead and insert the Cartesian plane here. Um, okay, hold on, let's see. Okay. Okay. So, so what we're going to do is I'm going to we're going to um, look for the solutions. Okay, from zero to two from zero to two pi first, and then we want to come up with a a general solution. Okay. So for these uh, for the values of plus or minus one half. Okay, we have pi over 3. Okay, so that's going to be here somewhere. Okay. Okay, so for this angle of pi over 3, we get a, we get this value of 1 half. Okay. We also have a value over here in the uh, in the second quadrant. So this is right Okay, so we have here one half. That's so that is corresponding to two pi over three. And then down here we have another angle. So this is corresponding to four pi over three. And then we have one over here. That is corresponding to the angle of phi pi over three. Okay. All right. So for the angles pi over three, phi pi over three, we have this side of one half, and for two pi over three and four pi over three, we have minus one half here. Okay. So those are the those are the four fundamental solutions between zero and two pi. Okay. So we have for theta, we have pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3. Okay, 
However, we can get more of these, right? If we continue to go around, okay, starting at um, 2 pi, we can take, we can go around another 2 pi and so on, okay? So we have actually, uh, we have more solutions than this, okay? So we want to write a, we want to write this in a general form, okay? So let's think about this starting with pi over 3. Okay, so if we have starting with pi over 3, okay, right with, so with pi over 3, we can, if we add pi to that, then we get the 4 pi over 3, okay? So we have pi over 3 plus 4 pi over 3, and if we continue adding on pi, then we get 7 pi over 3, and then 10 pi over 3, and so on. So this can be written as, I'm going to call this theta 1, uh, we can write this as pi over 3 plus n pi. Because each time, right, we're, we're going, we're adding on a multiple of pi. Okay, and n is here, n is an integer. Okay. So now let's look at the other values. Okay, we have these two, 2 pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. Again, those are separated by angle of pi. Okay, so we have 2 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, and if we continue uh, adding on pi, we're going to get 8 pi over 3, and then 11 pi over 3, and so on. So this can be represented as, I'm going to call that theta 2, uh, 2 pi over 3 plus n pi, where n is a, again, n is an integer, okay? All right, so those are the two, right? These are the two general solutions, okay? Uh, one was at, so we have pi over 3 plus n pi, and the other is at 2 pi over 3 plus n pi, okay? So those are, again, those will pick up all the solutions. Okay, if we continue going around the unit circle, all right?